I've just got a feeling he's going to be able to play the game at a pretty good level. I know he has been. and visa related issues to uh, 32 years of age now team to concentrate on the game and has been playing as a professional since his late teens a bit like a catchy or a filler you look at their age and you just can't believe it because it just feels like they've been around Well, that might be the easiest ball. That is amazing. You can see he's seething inside. He passes it up by missing the easiest of eights. And so, Hu Chen Hung, very unexpectedly, ends up winning the first rack. News of another Hill Hill finish. Jan Joski is just... May Chua pay for it. He needs 1 0 and he's breaking. To shake that type of miss off. Yeah, the thing is, it's not like you'd expect him to go and miss one of those balls again. If you miss a difficult shot, you might. Yeah, and of course, not only is he trying to win the tournament. Desperate to get in the Reyes Cup, isn't he? Yeah. Place to do it because he leads the race for the automatic spot that will be decided at the end of this tournament. And the only way he can miss out on it is if Reyes Cup over in the Philippines. get it down to anything less than about eight or nine because you'd name your five and then you'd suddenly think of someone else who could be a great addition to the team it's so open and so competitive much more so I'd say than well a couple of strange me not seeing the other matches well you might have I've not watched the other matches that Phil and JJ have done but our matches, well, standards be. Chua missed opening rack, but you get massive odds against him. We've seen another one here. Now that he's deposited that, it's a very straightforward nine. Should have won the first. He has won the second. Johan Chua levels at one rack apiece. Lou Ri Teng was a couple of racks away from a place in the quarterfinals of the UK Open in Telford back in May. The man so everything resolved now. We're on with rack three. Made the one in the side off his break in the opening rack, but not this time. He can roll this ball slow enough to hold for the blue two. If he can't, he might try and bump the red three. Yeah, that's what he tried. Two for one. He... European Moscone Cup captain, Jason Shaw. Lou, told you earlier, won the first rack. Now won the second as well. Once we'd seen a bit of this guy, we'd realise he could play. Look 
looking good here. This say pretty much for the one. Looks like he's certainly got the tools to at least significantly trouble Chua in this match. Wu Chen Hung leads for the second time at 2-1. Seems elsewhere in the Greek nation. 2-1 here to Lou. Oh yeah, he had angle. Had to force it a little bit, to be fair. Lots of Q power. Actually. He's actually done really well there. He's been fortunate, we know that. World rankings is now all the way up to 14th, but of course he had a very good world championship and the points on offer there were absolutely colossal. Keeping any of them. Some good wins, including one against Jason Shaw here with the Philippines. But in terms of individual matchroom events, he wasn't able to put together proper run in any of them. So Johan Chua continuing the pattern here. He's gone behind twice, and on both occasions, he's drawn level. So it's 2 all. David Vu of Germany on the hill. So he'll play this with right and English. Come above the nine. Didn't avoid the nine. Sir. So the break from Chua came up dry. Wu Chen Hung has done the rest, and he does indeed lead once again by a single rack at 3 2. Conrad Yasushin has won the first against the British player. Lu Chen Hung leading 3 2. Well, might be the strangest break we've ever seen. What happened there? Well, I was going to Yeah, not surprising he took his time over that. He knew. It's close, you know. Yeah, good.
particularly from big pool playing countries like Philippines and Chinese Taipei, as I was saying. And players who we don't know a huge amount about here. And okay, he was known within the pool world, but really only among proper hardcore people. And then he ends up almost winning the tournament. And just as I'm saying all that, Lu Chen Hong has missed a seven. He's passed all that up now. The balcony, Jason Shaw's playing just to the right of me. I've stood up three times and he's been at the table and he's played three awful shots every time I've stood. Back here, Johan Chua looked for all the world like he was going two behind at 4-2. But a really unexpected miss on the seven from Lu Chen Hung and Chua has taken full advantage. So once again, they're level and three all. Pointers on offer at all. It's been erratic stuff so far. And it's three all. Yeah, I do like the fact that winning the world championship in Jeddah back in June, lost the first against Alex Montpellier of France. Oh, hang about. What a highlight reel shot Chua has just played. He was chasing the nine with a cue ball. As it come down table, I thought, that looks really close. What a beautiful... by some weight. Well, just stood up again, Michael. Jason Shaw was on the one ball and missed it. That's unbelievable. Four from four. Something wrong. Incredible. Well, the story of this match so far really has been mistakes of varying degrees on both sides and the extent to which they've been punished. In that case, it was capitalized on to the full by Lu Chen, the winner of this one at the moment. For the fourth time, they're level. Hitting him with any type of speed. Yeah, needed some help there, didn't it? Yeah, Aranis, the partner of Johan Chua in that World Cup win in Spain last year. Philippines took the title for record break. You know, we marveled about how Chinese Taipei again in the semis against Austria. I remember in the final at one stage, I was having a quick look to see what was the biggest ever margin of scare. The Philippines got towards the end of that. Wasn't able to do so. F. Chua, an opportunity, and it looks as though he's going to exploit to the full.
Chua leads once again at five racks to four. Yeah, that's the thing about those shots like the one he left there. We don't think much of it. But it's not because it isn't a diff. You're one away from single elimination. 5-4 Chua. Well, it's the first time that either player has made the one. Just having a look. Obviously not kicking. Could make this ball if he hits it right in the corner. Uh, maybe the side. It's going close. Hands for Chua. Play a little stop shot and you're perfect on the nine ball. With the way he was playing, but Chua put pay to him in the last 16. And then had a Surprisingly comfortable win against the Spanish Open champion Dang Jin Hu in the quarters with his ranking. He could be looking at playing in the World Masters next spring. He's obviously, as we were saying earlier, given by quarters in China. We often see matches, don't we, where one player goes in as big favours. And then it's close. Too clear in the match, but he's left himself more work to do in that regard. And he would have anticipated. The nine is made, though. Johan Chua becomes the first player to lead by more than a single rack at any stage of this contest. It's now 6-4, and all of a sudden, Chua is just three away from victory. Well, the cue ball tried to go in a couple of pockets there. Didn't we? Wow, glove, steady hands. Fine shot this from Chua until the last 16 when it comes in for all the matches across the different tables. But now, and for the spectacle and in terms of trying to build the profile of the sport and attract an audience, it really is. We always seem to think the first shot we see is the correct shot to play. We're seeing a bit of that with Chua here. Off a trickier nine than he would have liked, but this is much more straightforward than the one in rack 10. Never really likely to miss that. So now, Johan Chua pulled away. Three racks in a row. And he only needs a couple more. Harry Wilson in winner's qualification on Thursday. Yeah, if you do want to check out the draw and stay in touch with all the other matches, all the live scores, head over. Nicely played. Okay, so this could be the start of. Hill. 
Good chance to send notice that Lou is still in this. along the way missed one or two balls he perhaps shouldn't have but then again you could say the same about the much more experienced opponent he's up against so yeah more than capable that's for sure should make this back to only two behind at seven five Basically, his task was to win five of the six remaining racks. That's a start. Once again, he's up this end of the table, so he may be able to get an angle to break out two balls off the... But he's made it. What's called, Michael? I take five then. So needed to win half a dozen in a row. So that's two done. It was Johan Chu. Just trying to use the eight ball. Bit of an odd shot. Saying eight four at that time. So there's obviously been another one along the way as well because it's now saying eight six. Yeah, I mean, there's not been another one since he potted that nine because he's at the table. Trying to find that little gap in between the eight ball and the brown seven, which he has done. Yeah, that's a... Hey, he's getting through them very quickly as well, isn't he? Yep, he did win the rack, Michael. Yeah. That's another one on the board. So what was that was 8-3, wasn't it, at one time? time as well. He's got himself out of the arena. Sean's been involved in so many really dramatic matches and big events over the last year or two on both sides of them as a table, needing three balls to get to the hill. Oh, but he's massively overcut that one. Wow. Deceleration. I think he's going to have to play the bank shot. Yeah, classy bank. Well, both players. But he's missed the bank. Where's the cue ball going to finish? This needs to keep rolling. Just got there. Yeah, different. He was relying on a bit of good fortune and perhaps a touch of good judgment as well. Well, what an eventful rack that was. Both players, as you say, had let-offs. They had opportunities. Chua starting to take control, perhaps, against the British player, Chris Alexander. 5-3 to the pole. And as we've been saying, Jason Shaw back to only one behind now against Lu Hai Chan at eight racks to seven. Good chance. Obviously, you don't want to go into the losers or the left side of the draw, as some people call it. They've picked up the trophy, trophy rather, with a a loss next to the name. Fedor Gorst, the world champion, lost. There's one last chance for Lu Chen Hung. Needs to win all of the four remaining racks.
Let's have a little nose. Yeah, well, he's trying to turn that around. The man he beat to win the US Open in 2007. Not especially for a match that was so close for so much of the way. And then 8-6, well, that's the sort of scoreline that starts to put fear into a player. The shot has gone hill hill. And in no time at all, that's happened as well. From 8-3 down, five in a row in not much more. And there's still some more pool to be played in this match because Lu Chen Hung, when he came to the table, really must have known he had to take that opportunity. He has, and he's still in this at 8-6. Knocked it away, and he's at the table now. The table's opened up, Michael. He's got four balls left. He's on the green six. Mm, meanwhile, back here, is this a big mistake? for well, the winner there, 9-8, and he will face Darren Appleton for a place in single elimination. Well, perhaps the one wasn't on. Found that gap, didn't he? What well, ifs and a lot has to be done before he gets to that stage, but just underlines how the opportunities can present themselves even when you're a good bit behind in a match. Didn't see that coming. Yeah, so there's been a, the shot. Johan Chua now has a great chance to finish this off. He came into the match as a big favourite. He was behind a number of times early on find another gear he won the next three racks for seven four he was again three clear at eight five be his last involvement in this match so straightforward nine and the world cup winner from the philippines johan chua has defeated Lu Chen Hung by nine racks to six. We didn't know much about Lu before the match. Yes, he's made his mistakes in this contest, but at times he showed us enough to suggest that we'll see a good deal more of him in the future. And we'll see Johan Chua in the next round on the winner's side against the Italian World Cup player Francesco Candela.